Hey guys, Senator right here, and I'm going to be reading to you guys this thing from a site. It's called The Eight Contradictions of the Left. The Eight Glaring Contradictions of the Left. I'll be reading it to you guys because it's very true and it's funny. So we all know that when it comes to like, le when it comes to left wing politics, a lot of times these people tend to co contradict themselves all the time. So I'm going to be reading to you guys all the contradictions. I'll be also be linking this below the description. Morality is subjective, except when we say so. The, the left believe that morality is a series of subjective assertions that have <clears throat> no basis in solution. Uh, objective. And this subject for the left is natural law, natural rights, and don't you dare talk about personal responsibility. Leftists being very rational intellect all moral dismissively whenever it conflicts with their beliefs <clears throat> but wait how can anyone make a moral statement or or any statement at all without ending with an absolute conclusion also that's just culturally biased thinking that has that, that has no place in a modern will cry yet more confusing is how the left can make any moral arguments at all if this was what they truly believe, how could slavery be immoral, patriarchy, capitalism, Christianity? The list of leftists moralizing goes on and on. As well as well, all well know to our mental exhaustion, that's easy to explain according to the left. Vote on what's right or rely on the judgment of a pseudo-intellectual fraud like Karl Marx or tell you what is right. Then all moral in, in consistent vanish gender is a social construct except when you have the wrong <clears throat> the wrong brain when you have the brain of the wrong sex radical feminists proclaim that gender is a social display of, of because gender doesn't actually exist still leftists will argue that your brain cannot be defined by your sex all and, and that all differences related to sex early external anatomy of course people that can be can, that can think for themselves know this not this is nonsense with so many obvious everyday differences between the sexes not least one career choice choices related to brain sex men tend to dominate stem subjects while women tend to mix based on liberal arts and humanities or or any area involving care from teaching and social work to medicine Setting this aside, the left regu regularly gets itself into a, into a middle when it tries to marry this queer, uh, queer theory. That the idea that gender is a fluid co concept that exists on a spectrum, that, does, that doesn't sound too contradictory, you might say. Ah, you can't have a transsexual identity brain sex. doesn't exist. This is <clears throat> a long-standing schism of with many radical feminists getting irritated irritate, whenever anyone suggests that that a person can have the brain of the opposite sex especially when a man professes professes to be a woman equally queer theorists get get just as irritated when ra radical feminists disagree with them this is something that Germaine greer was reminded of when she criticized the current darling of the left this except when you're white. Leftists decry any concept of race. This is <clears throat> demonstrably, demonstrably false. I have a hard time pronouncing that word, but demonstrably false. And like sex, leftists refuse to acknowledge any differences beyond external appearance. Of course, we are all human at the end of the day, except when leftists criticize white people who are apparently really privileged and stuff. Even using social construct argument could be referred to as a white privilege by the left, who see whiteness as a class that effectively needs to be completely eradicated. Therefore, white people need to shut up at all times. Weirdly enough, you can't simply reject your whiteness and move along for your perceived sins, even though even though white countries are, mo are the most racially tolerant in the world to the point that they're, that they're literally co committing cultural and racial suicide. Feminists stand up for women and rape them. 
feminists like to present themselves as champions of women only that's that's kind of a load of crap especially when it contradicts the multicultural agenda of the left where to begin in this regard how about rotherham where over 1400 girls were repeatedly raped by muslim grooming gangs in a period that spanned over a decade as leftist counselors threatened and silenced anyone that tried to prevent this or raise awareness of this horrendous activity this even included parents of the victims this is far from an isolated example either sweden a country widely considered the feminist capital of the world is also the rape capital of europe why because white privilege can overwrite the rights of muslim rapists we advocate rights for all except white white cis male white cis abled men you'd be hard press not to find a leftist that doesn't prattle on on about how they stand for equality but we all know this is this isn't true and the left know it but deep down the inter interpretation of the world <clears throat> according to the left is so blinkered that the amount of equality you get is based purely on group identity where groups with most privilege get the least equality and the ones with the least privilege get the most on this basis a poor black disabled <coughs> lesbian woman you have to specify her sex and gender a heteronormative bigot gets them gets the most equality and less less these categories apply to you the, the less equal you are so if you're a straight white male <coughs> and you have the for fortune of perfectly healthy bodily functions you don't even get the, the right to speak yet alone equality we believe in free speech except when you disagree with us everyone has free speech in the leftist land except cis <coughs> white cis abled males that's a given unless well you're not a leftist that agrees with absolutely everything they think the crazy thing is you'd have to be stupid not to realize left incitement to violence and the and theft is a violation of any common sense approach to freedom and what many people would argue is not defined by free speech in the slightest it's that enablers of the left and leftists alike have a right to go around and incite generally brainwashing useful idiots into working towards the collapse of society meanwhile the very people <clears throat> given the right to say practically anything they like free speech until they're in a position to take go, take yours away for not being a leftist we stand up for the poor except when we need to print money social programs are extremely expensive and raising taxes only goes so far but this will stop the from getting what they want when their social programs start to printing press or by the valency and circulation people with assets benefit from the from the rise in the cost of living but the poor can't afford commodities or market they're stuck using a currency that has its value whitt whittle away with every round of quantitative easy of course leftists being leftists will deny that printing causes inflation true we could look at chile during lendi and all other countries for that but anyway even though the historical evidence is vast <laughs> and now he's going to start listing the it down from the Weimar Republic to Zimbabwe except leftists don't actually believe money should exist in their communist utopia and they want to and they can't be wrong about anything especially the objective value of wealth the family is an outdated patriarchal institution <clears throat> except when gay people want one it's true like they, they tend to them families the family is like an uh, is like a patriarchal Oh, like tool of oppression that that her that oppresses women and children but except when gay people want one it's terrible it, it, it should be it should be acceptable family is a terrible thing according to the left anyway or at least it was before gay people wanted to get involved before that it was an outdated patriarchal institution that oppressed women and children you can see how much the left only in married of places such as chapter 2 of the communist manifesto to the 1971 gay liberation manifesto you can also hear a candidate take gay marriage by masha justin or guess i can't say the name but 
who admits that the true aim of gay marriage is to destroy marriage and the lady is, is more nihilistic than ever. People, many people just don't care about this because their own broken family upbringing has tarnished their perspective. Alternatively, they're advocates of an interpretation of the communist ideology that always fiercely opposed the institution of marriage and the family. Plenty examples of leftist contradictions we could all laugh at since they truly are a parody of a blissfully unaware idiot. But you have, and, and eight was enough for me, at least for now. In the meantime, feel free to leave your own example in the comments section. And like, <clears throat> dislike, comment, give me your feedback and subscribe to watch more videos.